today. Our title is Excuses Are Like Mud, and that's what I want to talk to you about. There are so many people who have so many excuses. I can give them an answer, and they'll say, but Kat, this is the way it is where I live. This is the way it is where my family is. This is my health about this situation, and they'll give me all their excuses why they can't do something. But excuses are like mud. A little bit of excuses, you get splashed with a little mud. You can wash that off. You can change your mind, and you can do the work. But if you've been giving excuses for yourself for years and years and years, now you are buried in clutter. It's like being buried in mud that's dried, and it's really, really hard to stop doing that. But the more excuses you give, the higher and higher the mud is going to rise. So and dry and get hard. So what I want you to do is remember that the dripping of water wears away stone. It also wears away mud, but you have to stop adding mud, stop adding excuses, find a way to make something work. And I'm going to depend on your intelligence to do that. I can't solve every problem for every person. I can tell you how to do the fly lady system. I can give you suggestions. I can mentor you. I can help edit the system to work for your situation, but I can't take away the fact that you're making excuses for yourself. So if you can't find a way to make it work, then this isn't the system for you. And if you see that nothing else has worked, maybe you'll listen to me and say, you know what? I'm an excuse maker. I'm making excuses for myself. I'm too tired. I have X, Y, Z problem physically or mentally or whatever, family, whatever it is. Uh, it's where I live. It's the cost of living where I live. It's it's um, it's my situation that I have to do all these things besides take care of my family. Whatever it is, you and only you can come up with a solution and you know that there is a solution. Let's just work on finances. Let's say that you can't afford to live where you live. You're living above your means. And I've told you to live below your means because one part of this is having a budget, right? So I'm telling you to live below your means. And if you can't even supply shelter, food, and clothing, then somebody needs to get a different job or another job or an additional, you know, somebody needs to do something to make more money. Or maybe you need to move to a less expensive area. Maybe you don't need to live in this posh area. Now, I can't go in and make these plans for you. That's something that you have to decide. It's a change in your head. You have to say, what is it worth for my family not to live this way, not to be in debt all the time, not to be uh, to the point where we're going to have to go bankrupt. And it's been seven years. And so now we can go bankrupt again. Okay. How can you break that cycle? And how can you teach your children to break that cycle? In this financial example, the answer is to Cut back on your expenses if you can. If you can't, if there's absolutely no way to cut back on your expenses, if your expenses, you're down to the bare minimum and you've even moved to a less expensive area or a less expensive state, you might have to do that. Um, And then it's time for somebody to get an additional job or to change jobs or to uh, do something like that. So, or have other people in the house add to the income. So, I'm not giving you an answer in this. This is something that your brain has to come up with. Okay, I'm going to switch to another thing. Let's say that you have um, an immune system problem and you and you have flare-ups. And so your excuse is, I have an immune system problem. I can't clean. But you know and I know that you're not in flare all the time. And there are times when you can clean. And maybe you can't, maybe you have... A heart issue or a lung issue and you COPD or something where you just can't go flat out for 15 minutes. Maybe you have to sit and do it a little slower, but you know that there's a way to do this, but you're not doing it because you think it's too hard because in here you've told yourself it's too hard. It's harder to live the way you're living than it is to do the things to get you into a different way of living. So today's video is all about mud and what it does to you. Excuses are mud. It buries you. It freezes you. But if you'll allow the system to work for you and you stop putting mud on it, dripping of water wears away mud, just like it wears away stone. And before you know it, 
you're going to have a win. And you're going to have a whole room that's a win. And then you're going to have several rooms that are a win. And then you're going to have a whole house that is a win. And then you're going to be telling everybody how this worked because they're going to be saying, oh my goodness, I thought you had XYZ problems and you still managed to do this. How are you doing that? 15 minutes a day, four days a week, plus a basic weekly plan, plus routines. That's how I'm doing it. And I'm doing it at my, at my pace. And it's working because the dripping of water wears away stone. That's it for today. I hope this helped you in some way. Hope you stop making excuses. Stop giving reasons. Keep your mouth closed and start thinking, how can I make this work for me? How can I stop this from continuing to happen to me? Okay, allowing this to continue to happen and to my family. That's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you really think about this. And I hope you always remember that you're beautiful. I love you. Be beautiful.